Good morning guys and happy Vlogmas day. I don't even know at this point. Do you want to say something? Go ahead, tell them. Tell them. Alright guys, so as you know, I love making Starbucks drinks at home and during Vlogmas, how could I not do holiday Starbucks drinks at home? Now, could I have just gone to Starbucks and gotten these drinks? 100%. But where's the fun in that? There isn't any. I'm going to be making two or three drinks in this video and we are going to start with the Irish cream cold foam. If you don't know what this drink is, it comes around only during the holidays and it is a personal favorite. I got it so much the first year that it came out and I'm pretty sure this is only the second year that it's been out and it is back in stores. So if you haven't tried one yet, definitely go ahead or just get these ingredients and you can make it at home. To be honest, I don't really remember what it tastes like that much. So hopefully this is just good in general. But what you're going to need is the cold brew from, I mean, from anywhere, but I got the one from Starbucks just because I feel like that makes the most sense. So I just got the Starbucks cold brew. It's just black and unsweet, which is repulsive, but we're gonna fix it. And then I got the Irish cream syrup from Tarani, and I also got the vanilla syrup from Tarani. I have just a normal milk, which is disgusting, but it's used to make the cold foam. I have a handheld milk frother, and then a mason jar that I'm going to put everything in. The recipe that I found also said to put a little bit of hot cocoa, like cocoa powder, on the top of the foam. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I mean, I have cocoa powder, but I just feel like that's kind of strange, in my opinion. But let's just get started. I'm gonna put some ice into my mason jar, and then I'm just going to put, I don't know if you're supposed to shake that, actually. I'm just gonna put, the cold brew. I don't know. Just, just going to fill it up, I guess. I'll do it till like there so that there's enough room for the cold foam. And then you're also <laughs> you're also going to want to put one and a half tablespoons of Irish cream syrup in the cold brew. Okay. And I got my Irish cream on Amazon if you're looking for where to get it. I didn't even know they made Irish cream syrup, quite honestly. Whoa, it smells like Bailey's. <laughs> That's strange. It's like 10 in the morning. So I'm gonna do one, oh, it's thick. One. And then I'm gonna mix that together just with like, you know, a normal spoon. Maybe I shouldn't have put the ice in it. Should I take the ice out? Like now that it's like definitely cold, maybe I should take the ice out. Do normal, no, normal cold foams have ice in them, right? I really don't know. I think they do, because I always get annoyed when I get a piece of ice in like the sippy cup part. All right, so next we are going to, oh, I made a mess. Sorry about that. My workspace is getting to be a mess. Next, it says to take one fourth cup of the milk and one and a half teaspoons of the vanilla syrup and we're going to froth them and make the foam. This one seems really easy, but I really hope it tastes good. One fourth cup of milk. One and a half teaspoon, oh my God, I literally pulled out the right ones, of the vanilla syrup into the milk. And then I don't know how long I froth it for, just until it seems frothy, I guess. I want her to be thick with like three C's, easily four C's if that. I feel like it's not frothed enough. How long are you supposed to froth milk for? Like, I don't know the answer to that question. There's, it like doesn't look thick. Whoa. My hand is starting to hurt. If anyone can let me know in the comments how long you're supposed to froth for. Okay, wait, I think we're getting there. We're almost there, guys. This is taking way too long. All right, looks good enough to me, people. Let's do a close up of the pour. Watch it be terrible. Wow, okay. So she looks amazing. Oh my God. Okay, now it's time to taste test. I'm so nervous. Okay. Whoa. Bean, there might be too much Irish cream. 
Uh huh. But it's really, it tastes like butter beer. Oh my God. There's definitely too much Irish cream. I would maybe just do half a tablespoon. Like that's all you need. Should I try it with half a tablespoon? I think I should try it with half a tablespoon because I literally don't think I could drink that whole thing and I want coffee right now. So let's try it with half a tablespoon instead. All right, you know the drill, get a mason jar. Okay, this is obviously a different mason jar, but like size wise, but we're just gonna do the same thing. Oh, I should have put, whatever. Let's just do half a tablespoon of, the, of this syrup. That's it, that's it, that's it. Then we are going to mix. Next, milk, again, disgusting. I'll do two teaspoons instead, because why not? I feel like you could also not use like vanilla syrup. You could use like that Madagascar um, like thing from Trader Joe's, what's it called? Like the Madagascar, um, why can't I think what it's called? Paste, like the vanilla paste. I feel like you could put that in the cold foam and it'd be just as good also. That was just way too sweet. And I don't remember the one from Starbucks being like that. Like I almost remember it being too bitter because I love sweet coffee. And I remember when I originally would get the Irish cream cold brew, it would be a little too bitter for my liking. So the fact that that was really sweet is shocking. But I guess this is just way stronger than like what they use or I don't know, or that was just too much. Clearly the recipe needed to be fixed by me. So that's what we're doing. All right, now that I've frothed it forever. Oh, beautiful, amazing. I just, I, that's my favorite part every single time. All right, ready? Hold on, I barely got through the foam. Please hold. Okay, that's more like it. That, I'm putting more of this. That tastes way more similar. It still has a very overpowering Irish cream taste, but it's not bad. Okay, I just spilled coffee on myself, but ignore that for like a second because my battery is about to die. But I would give this like a seven out of 10, eight out of 10. I don't think it tastes that similar to the one at Starbucks, just from my memory. I will try the actual Starbucks drink fairly soon. That way I can really compare the two, but it's really good. Like I would suggest it. This scared me, the fact that like the cold brew was like black and unsweet, but this is only 15 calories. This for a tablespoon or for half a tablespoon is 25 calories, I believe. But I mean, yeah, there's like a lot of carbs and sugar. So just use like very minimal of this. And then for the vanilla for half or for a teaspoon, it's like honestly nothing. So it's really not that bad of a drink. Of course there's milk in it, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but yeah, again, I would give it like a seven or eight out of 10. Definitely try it. Let me know what you think. There's the, the two that I gave it a try, but I'm gonna head to work now because I have to do that. Clean all of this up and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new drink. I'm not making them all in one day because that's weird because I'm actually gonna drink this. So if I made another drink, I'm not gonna drink two coffees in like the matter of, you know what I mean? All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so here we are back for day two. I am going to be making my personal favorite drink from Starbucks. Bean, is it your favorite too? It is my favorite drink from Starbucks and it's not on the menu. It's not a menu item. It's okay. It's not a holiday menu item. Is it a holiday drink? 1,010%, but it's not on the menu. I've kind of just, I'm not gonna say I made this one up because I didn't. I definitely probably saw it somewhere. But either way, it's my favorite drink of all time from Starbucks. And that is what we are gonna be making today. So what you're going to need is espresso. So I already made this espresso when I put it in the fridge. It's just Starbucks espresso. And then you're going to need milk. You're going to need heavy whipping cream, white chocolate syrup, and peppermint syrup. Now, this thing is massive. It's so heavy. I did not want to buy this much white chocolate syrup. I didn't, I really didn't, but they don't sell it any smaller. I was going to go to Starbucks and be like, Hey, can I just get like a cup, like a tiny little espresso shot of white chocolate? But 
I saw this at the store and I was like, well, here we are. Haven't even explained what we're making yet. Today we are making basically a white chocolate peppermint mocha, but instead I just do two shots of espresso with a pump of white mocha and then the sweet cream cold foam with peppermint in the cold foam. It is the best drink you'll ever have. Ever, I believe it's less calories than like if you were gonna get a white chocolate peppermint mocha drink, because I believe that one is like 500 and something calories. This one's probably somewhere near 100, 150. I don't know, because espresso is like no calories, it's like five. And then the only thing that's gonna kill you is the white chocolate. And I don't think the sweet cream cold foam is like that bad for you, but either way, I don't care, because it's delicious. So let's just start with putting this in, like putting the espresso in a mason jar, and then we'll make the cold foam. Sure. If you're wondering, yes, I do have a mason jar problem. I'm obsessed with mason jars. Um, okay, so let's, I'm not gonna put the ice in this yet. I'm gonna put the espresso in first with a pump of the white mocha and really mix it good before I put ice in just because I feel like that's the proper thing to do. Ew, I'm gonna get a shot glass. All right, so just to make sure that I'm like measuring this kind of properly, please don't get everywhere. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, well, one, two, and for fun, let's just, you know, let's do three. We're really feeling frisky today, people. Oh my God, how, hold on. How did I make that much of a mess in that short amount of time? Like. We're fine, everything's fine. All right, so now that I have the espresso in my mason jar, I'm just going to do one pump of white chocolate mocha, I think, one pump, right? Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna do two. I'm gonna wait that, that was kind of a lot. All right, now we're gonna mix it. I'm gonna use a fork just because I really wanna like, almost like whisk it. Okay, so we have the white mocha in there. And then next up is to make the cold foam. So I have a cup and I'm just going to take, I never know how much like milk and stuff to put. Maybe I should just do like one third cup because I don't want to do half a cup. I feel like that's way too much. Maybe I'll just do one third cup of milk and then one third cup of heavy cream. I don't know. Okay, so one third cup of that in there. Oh my god. Heavy cream to really give it, you know, that little umph. It's also basically 2 p.m. and I haven't eaten yet today, so this should just really go well. I slept in so late. If anyone knows how to open these things, let me know. I didn't drink milk as a kid, so I, I can like literally never do it. I didn't drink milk as a kid. I don't drink milk now. If you do drink milk, I do think you're possibly a serial killer, so. And then I'm gonna do one tablespoon of the peppermint syrup. Oh my God. Two shots of vodka. Whoa. No, this is not sponsored by Tarani. <laughs> I really wish it was. Um, Tarani, if you're watching this, please sponsor me by all means. Okay, now we're gonna froth it. To my frotha. And we are just going to do this until she gets nice and thick which in my opinion takes 10 years for some reason. Okay, so it's still not thick. I feel like I've been doing this forever. Sometimes I'm like, should I just throw it in the blender? Isn't that what they do? Don't they put it in the blender? Maybe that's what I should do. We're gonna have to come up with a different method because mm -mm. I'm gonna add ice to this. It's so funny because on the bottom you could see the white mocha and that happens with like my drinks at Starbucks as well. At this point, I mean, I'm just going to dirty my entire blender for this drink. Okay, at least it smells pepperminty. I was concerned. We're just going to put that in there. Let's just do milkshake mode. This is so loud. Do we think it's done now? It still looks like milk. Okay. Come on. Um. Okay, it's literally still milk. What the heck? Thick. It's just the blender. It still looks like liquid. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go on high. That sounded terrifying. 
Okay, wait, oh my god, we're almost there. <gasps> okay, let's just continue on medium because high was honestly way too scary. All right, it's gotta be something now. She's, oh my word, that took way too long. Okay, ready? Ready, 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 ready? Oh, I guess I'll go over there. Okay, okay, ready, 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 ready. Moment of truth. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my god, wait, it tastes just like it. Oh my god, wait, it tastes identical. Oh my god, I don't have to go to Starbucks anymore. Wow. Whoa. It's so spot on. Bean is being absolutely insane right now. This tastes identical to what I get. Wow, I've never been more excited. I can literally make it at home now. Duh, that's the whole point. I don't have to spend, I mean, I'm still gonna spend money at Starbucks, but I don't have to spend like insane amount of money at Starbucks because this is exactly what I would get. And it's pretty simple. You just have to get the syrup and the peppermint, this, and it, it tastes spot on if you like a white chocolate peppermint mocha you have to try this it is literally so good and so easy i mean yeah the cold foam took me a hot second if any baristas know an easier way to make cold foam if i'm doing it wrong can i like make it in batches like can i make a lot of it and then keep it in the fridge for like a week or is that not okay starbucks baristas please help me out in the comments down below. I am going to look like a legit barista with all of this over in like my coffee station. I'm just so excited. So I think I'm gonna stick with just doing these two holiday drinks for now. And if you guys wanna see me do more, comment down below, comment holiday drinks that you get at Starbucks and then I can give them a try in a part two. We have so many more days of Vlogmas left, so. I definitely want to do a part two to this, but like I said, comment down below drinks you'd want to see me do. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss anything. We are fully in Vlogmas. I know I missed a couple days. I am sorry. I'm so sorry, but it's, you know, it's hard, but I'm doing my best and I hope you guys are enjoying it. But I love you guys so, 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 so much. I'm actually going to get my nails done right now. So I'll, I'll show you guys that when I get them done. Well, you guys are so far, but I will run and say bye. But I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time, hopefully tomorrow, with a brand new video.